What is a new YouTube video? Is it a video that came out last week, yesterday, two hours ago? The reason why I ask you that is because people seem pressured, you know, these more prolific YouTubers to pump out more and more content. And there's a reason for it. Uh, I just watched something by Matthew Santoro saying, hey, I'm getting burnt out on YouTube, thinking about quitting, but I'm going to take it down to a couple of videos a week instead of whatever he was putting out five or so. And he's, he said that, you know, he just, he was lacking the creativity. It was hard, you know, it was more like a grind and, you know, just burning him out. And he also said, he used to be an accountant. He said that the YouTube al algorithm is such even though they deny this, that if you don't upload on a frequent basis, your videos are not going to be uh, not going to be shown to audiences. So that being said, he's willing to risk that for a little bit of uh, sanity. Another guy that I watch, uh, you know, his channel name is Kill Him. Um, nothing about killing. Anyway, both of those are in my recommended uh, channels. Funny guys. Anyway, he kind of said the same thing. It was just like, I need to find something, another way to get my juices flowing again. And so he kind of changed his outlook on YouTube. But both of them are like, you know, concerned because they, they, they wanted to put out less so that they could enjoy their life more. But, you know, people were in the comments were saying, oh man, I'm going to miss all these new uh, videos. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I think people fail to look back at the library uh, of videos that people put out. And just remember this, what is old, if you haven't been exposed to it, is new to you. And I think that some of these things, a lot of these things are timeless. And I just encourage you to go back in the archives of my channel and other channels as well, so you can you know, kind of get the wealth of whatever it is these people have presented and uh, not be anxiously awaiting every new thing because I know my my content for the most part I consider timeless and helpful regardless of when you're watching it I may get a little older but so far it's been uh, soon enough that I haven't been able to tell and uh, yeah you could kind of take the pressure off of some of these people they're gonna do what they're gonna do but if you like the content that's on the channel really look on their channel page click on videos and just scroll through and see if there's something else that you would like that they put out and give them the views that way. Anyway, that's something that I do. Oh, one more thing is commenting on old videos. Please comment on my old videos, you know? Um, there seems to be this trend thing where it's like, you know, a video is, I don't know, a month old and people just stop commenting. I don't get enough views where I uh, ignore comments. I answer every comment. I'm happy to get constructive criticism or, you know, uh, compliments on the videos that I make. That's one of the reasons I do it, is to have that interaction. And so you can pretty much guarantee for me, unless I get 3 million subscribers, which I'm not expecting, um, that I'm going to reply to your comment. So I don't care if the video is 3 years old, you know, whatever, you know, make a comment. I do it on other videos, and I guess that's a faux pas or whatever, but I have received some comments back from people, you know, being expressing, you know, thanks for me saying something. Anyway, just some food for thought. You know, it's, you do whatever you're going to do, but I think that it's important to realize that this doesn't happen just like that, especially these guys that do a lot of editing. It takes a long time. So, you know, honor that and honor yourself by just looking back and seeing what there is that's already been made. Anyway, just some thoughts for you. I hope to see you in another video, and I appreciate you watching. Bye.